But hello, everybody. Let me put the lid down. Oh, we're not. This is actually in the morning. It's what, five, like around 7:30 ish for me. Uh, and it's not Tuesday. 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 Oh, it's not Tuesday. 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 It is Thursday, actually. Tuesday. I wasn't able to get on the bike. So and, I mean, they had like like weather. Rainy weather around here, yes. Anyway, but the old hip wouldn't let me on the bike in the morning, so I went ahead and took the sub. But uh, that's not what I'm here for. I figured I'm going out to go on a slight ride to the dentist. Uh, that's to get get a cleaning and everything, and of course. And they always get you for, for cleaning. Mine has been done for has not been done for a little while. It's been a minute. I'll just say that. And I gotta get paperwork filled out for the surgery, of course. That's not the reason I'm actually making a video today. It's not the reason I made a video making a video today. I figured I'd make it one anyway, but I wanted to uh, actually just uh, bring up, I don't know how many of my subscribers watch Musty One, that old old YouTuber, and I just watched a video, because I, I, I love watching his videos, he's a, he's a good how-to mechanic, wrench turner, Monk, wrench monkey, he really knows his stuff, and uh, He, uh, he has pulled out, uh, oh, wow. actually the CB350, I think it's early 70s, pretty sure. It was a barn find that he got a hold of last year. And, uh, he got it running last year, but he, it's been in storage. And he just pulled it out not too long ago, and uh, he did a little bit of work on it after taking it for a little, little hoop scooch, and, uh, did a little more work to her, and I'll tell you what, she looks, she looks pretty darn, pretty darn good, pretty darn good. Oh, I can tell my, my brakes are warming up a little bit. They just, they're, now they're working like they should. It happens with this, this old girl. You ride her for a little while until the brakes start warming up. Brake system and then she runs or just rolls. Well, anyway, he, he got her up and running, the, the old CB up and running. And, yeah, she's, he got it nice and running. I'm not, I don't know if he's going, he doesn't, I don't think he even really knows. He's going to turn around and sell it or uh, keep it around for himself for a while. And that's actually, I love those old bikes. I'm, I'm not really, I'm more of a Kawasaki guy, to be honest with you. But that's where my first bike was the KZ 750 in 82. Actually, my first, very first bike was an 80 uh, KZ 440. But yeah, the 440 was junk, no title. The 750, of course, I mean, I've had, I got earlier videos on that. Me putting it together, working on it and everything. But that thing there was, the, tire, the motor was just too tired. Just too tired. It would, not, it would really never pull itself out of being a project bike. Which is a shame. Because, I mean, whenever the uh, the starter clutch, which is in the center of the engine on that, went out, I'm like, I call it quits. Like I, just, I just put too much work in, too much time, too much money. I, put, I had more money into that thing invested than the bike was worth. So it was like, no, I don't think so. But yeah, it's I still have that old 750. But it's like she's tired. And there's two things when they're there that tired that you could do with them. And that is you can just keep it around, keep an eye on the engine. On it for another engine for it. Do an engine swap, take a good frame and stuff. 
or or you could turn around and part it out try to sell it i tried that the 750s are just not selling but yeah they're asking dear prices for the stuff but they're just not selling um scrap it out well it's just that that's that's kind of crappy and it's got a bad frame i can see scrapping it out but she's that old girl's pretty much all there except i took a few pieces off it but nothing that can't be replaced too easily or very very easily and it's like so i came with no i'm doing number one i'm just letting it sit i mean for raw if i never get around to it i never get around to it if i never find another engine never find an engine i didn't pay a whole lot initially for the bike anyway so it doesn't bother me too much it doesn't bother me for taking up a uh, space in the garage and yeah that's valuable real estate but still if it doesn't bother me it shouldn't bother anybody else it's my real estate <laughs> you know <laughs> this is about some hello not so much good news oh just got from the dentist and 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 not so much good news i have have a freaking wisdom tooth i had well, I've had uh, three removed. Well, yeah, three removed in the past, and uh, the, the last one I was told by a surge, oral surge, oral surgeon uh, years ago. Eh, don't worry about it. It'll get. This should just you know resolve and go away. And uh, what I ended up being happening is, well, that tooth is actually crowded into the other tooth, next tooth in front of it, and caused some problems. And I mean, it's crazy. It, 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 you can't clean in between them. And I, I just do that not too long ago about that. And it's like, well, now it needs removed. That and the tooth in front of it. So it's like, yeah. Problems, problem, problems. And I got, as soon as I could get an appointment to even see a doctor about maybe removing it, it'd be the 13th. With the 13th is the, uh, the day I'm supposed to be down at Wexford to get the uh, the uh, pre-op test uh, testing shit done. Part of my language. Um, not so good. I got to call up because I mean, dental the dental trumps the pre-op because the pre-op is only being done because of surgery. If the surgery is going on, okay. And if I don't have this cleared. It's saying that I don't, I can't have surgery. So if the dental's not done, the pre-op should not be done, and uh, then the surgery's not done. So it's the domino effect, I guess. So that's telling me that I'm going to have to call them up and uh, reschedule for the pre-op. Correct. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is. I mean, it, it, if it comes down to it comes down to it maybe maybe i mean i'll be seeing my uh, family physician anyway i can get the blood work done up here and just have my uh if, the, if they will accept it have my family physician right off the pre-op and that, that might work that might work i don't know how to ask because before, whenever I had my surgeries done, I just had my family physician right off on it. And this place wants their physicians, but I mean, if it comes down to it, mm, if it comes down to it, I mean, this is a tight squeeze. And I don't like it, but I want the hip done. You know what I mean? I'm done playing with it. I'm playing with it. But this is <laughs> this is how my day's going. Oh, that's okay though. That's okay. This is a, this is an experience. <laughs> Life is an experience. This is Muscle Mike. Hope you all have a great day. Signing out.